As a mathematician, I feel it's important to have made all of the big decisions in case I ever get asked, so my favourite number is 27, my favourite mathematician is Cantor, my favourite formula is Euler's formula, and of course my favourite shape is a square. You may think that this is a pretty boring choice of favourite shape. In fact, you may accuse me of being a bit of a square. LOL. However, I'd like to show you why I think it's actually quite a nice shape and really interesting. So here's me in Trafalgar Square, but more importantly, here on the floor is a whole load of squares, which incidentally tessellate, which means they fill the whole space and there's no gaps. But here's the interesting thing. If I take a square like this one and join two of the edges together like this, I get a cylinder. If I want to draw this, I can take my square and I can draw two of the edges with arrows in like this to say I'm sticking these babies together like this. So this diagram represents a cylinder. So why have I used arrows to mark the edges? Well, I don't have to stick these edges this way round. I can in fact stick this edge the other way like this. The shape we get is called a Mobius band. That's because it's kind of hard to do with an actual little square. So we take this long square and do a twist in it, stick the ends together, and we get a band like this. It's named after August Mobius, the guy who discovered it. A Mobius band is actually a pretty lovely object, and I bet when he discovered it, Mobius was like, whoa, because firstly, this thing only actually has one face, which can be seen by drawing a line down the middle of it like this. You'll see that we don't get back to the place we started until we've gone over the whole thing. Secondly, this thing only has one edge, because of course when we twisted it, we joined one of the edges back onto the other edge. And we can see this by getting a pair of scissors and cutting it along the line down the middle. And instead of splitting into two pieces like any decent, well-behaved mathematical object, it actually just becomes one bigger loop with two twists in it. So what's really interesting is how just by changing from this to this, we get two objects which behave in totally different ways. Let's go back to our cylinder. It looks like this on our square. But what if we go totally crazy and draw in these arrows as well? What's going on there? Well, what we're saying is that we join two of the ends normally into the cylinder, and then we take the cylinder, grab these two ends, seamless, twist them round and join them up like this. The resulting shape is familiar to many as a donut, although cool nerds call it a torus, and it's also an epic maths object. Om nom nom. However, the fun doesn't stop there. There might be curious people among you who wonder what happens if we do this with our arrows. Cylinder in one direction, Mobius band in the other. Well, it's a little bit hard to get your head around, but if I take a cylinder like this one and try to stick the ends together, but instead of sticking them together normally, I do it backwards. It turns out I can't do this properly in three dimensions without the object passing through itself. This object is four dimensional. It's called a Klein bottle. They make excellent hats and were discovered by Felix Klein. And what about this? I bet there's still someone thinking. What happens if we do this? Well, it takes a little bit of maths to work it out, so you'll have to trust me, but it's called two-dimensional real projective space. And what it's equivalent to is if you take a sphere, cut a circular hole in the surface of the sphere, and then remembering that your Mobius band only has one edge, you take a Mobius band and you glue that one edge in along the edge of the hole. Again, we can't really do this in three dimensions, in a similar way to how if we take this three-dimensional knot, we can't draw a picture of it in two dimensions without it crossing itself, like this. So there you have several interesting things you can do with a square. Here's some links to find out more.